Warning, the following file describes a highly info-hazardous entity. Please proceed with caution. Item Number SCP-5776 Level 5 Top Secret Containment Class Keter Disruption Class Amida Risk Class Critical Special Containment Procedures SCP-5776 is currently housed in a classified large containment cell in Site-19. A reality anchoring device must be kept inside the cell, attached to SCP-5776 at all times. If it is for any reason to breach containment, its recapture is to be of alpha priority, and all expendable resources must be spent to re-secure containment and prevent an XK end of the world scenario. If it cannot be recontained, then SCP-5776 must be left to roam the planet, as interfering with it is likely to further anger it. It really wants to destroy everything. Description SCP-5776 is an extremely powerful entity capable of causing devastating amounts of destruction to human civilization. Pretty terrifying if I say so myself. It seems SCP-5776's primary goal is to destroy everything it can, and seemingly nothing is able to prevent it from completing this goal if it is not contained, so we need to make sure it doesn't get out. Despite what you may be told, it is 100% not a common food product. SCP-5776 is absolutely capable of drastically altering its shape, mass, and even cellular or genetic makeup. Due to this ability, its primary objective can be carried out swiftly and effectively, making it extremely important that containment is not lost. It is believed that the entity is capable of causing humanity's extinction in a matter of days or even hours if it is able to escape. SCP-5776 appears extremely eager to escape custody, expressing heightened frustration to the Foundation, claiming it will destroy us first. Footnote 1 it is very scary. Despite a reality anchoring device being attached directly to SCP-5776 at all times, it is still able to carry out its shape-shifting abilities to a limited degree, which is annoying, almost as much as being locked up. The following is a list of all forms SCP-5776 has taken while in secure containment, in order of when SCP-5776 initially materialized as them. An unknown large beast. An unknown winged scorpion. SCP. 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 Doctor. O5 dash. SCP. A giant amorphous entity. A small white cylinder, not a small edible product. Current form. Notably, when SCP-5776 alters appearance, including into other anomalies, it gains the item or entity's abilities, though these effects can be dampened by a reality anchoring device. This further makes it an immensely powerful entity, so SCP-5776 must not gain knowledge of any other anomalies that are presently contained by the Foundation or any other groups of interest, otherwise it will destroy everything. Recovery Log 5776 this file has been removed by order of O5- because it was too scary. SCP-5776 is capable of communicating with researchers depending on its current form. Due to this, attempts have been made to reason with SCP-5776 and have a conversation with it. These attempts can be found in Interview Log 5776-1 and Interview Log 5776-2. They're pretty worrying though, because SCP-5776 is very terrifying. Interview Log 5776-1 Interviewer Researcher Ox Interviewed SCP-5776 Begin Log Um, he hello? SCP-5776 remains silent. SCP-5776 begins to resemble SCP- Presumably to be able to speak. Wow, you're really scary, SCP-5776. Um, are you are you able to speak? SCP-5776 implodes into a ball of fire, causing a site lockdown, and Sector 5 of Site-19 is severely charred from the flames. End log.
Following this log, SCP-5776 was reclassified as Keter and was moved to more secure containment. Interview Log 5776-2 Interviewer Researcher Davis Interviewed SCP-5776 Begin Log SCP-5776 in an amorphous gel-like state Why am I here? You're dangerous to us. Also, can I say you're particularly terrifying and not cute? Yes, I am aware. Do you have any comment on what you did to Sector 5 during your interview last month? I will do it again. What?! SCP-5776 violently releases a burst of plasma-based fire. However, blast doors are shut in time so as to not have a repeat incident. Following interview 5776-2, speaking to SCP-5776 directly was forbidden under any circumstances. Incident Report 5776-1 On 2012, SCP-5776 escaped containment in the chaos of a mass containment breach of Site-19. The entity headed directly west, where it would likely intercept with multiple populated settlements and a major city. MTF Epsilon-11, Nine-Tailed Fox, and MTF Alpha-1, Red Right Hand were assigned to deal with the threat because it was so threatening. 12.57am, SCP-5776 breaches containment. 1.12am, SCP-5776 leaves Site-19 and begins heading west for unknown reasons. 1.13 a.m. MTF Epsilon-11 and MTF Alpha-1 are assigned with containing the entity. 1.30 a.m. MTF forces make visual contact with the entity, which has taken the form of a... 2 a.m. MTF forces are able to get within firing range of SCP-5776 and slow it down with explosives. 5 a.m. After three hours of constant bombardment, MTF forces request resupply, which arrives shortly. 5.45 AM, SCP-5776 turns around and assumes the form of a large dragon. It becomes impervious to firearms. 6.16 AM, SCP is dispatched to deal with SCP-5776. 7 AM, SCP-5776 destroys the nearby town of leaving a large crater behind. SCP arrives on the scene. 7.30 AM, SCP-5776 underestimates SCP which promptly it. After a battle spanning approximately 28 minutes, SCP emerges victorious, and SCP-5776 is restrained and brought back to Site-19. SCP-5776 is one of the most dangerous objects in the world, let alone in Foundation custody, and can destroy everything if it wishes. It is definitely not cute. Warning: The following file is Level 1-5776 classified. Any unauthorized attempts to access this file will result in disciplinary action. Access File Item Number SCP-5776 Level 1 Unrestricted Containment Class Safe Disruption Class Vlam Risk Class Notice Important Notice any personnel who are found to have revealed this document to SCP-5776 will receive appropriate disciplinary action. Special Containment Procedures Under no circumstances must SCP-5776 discover the existence of this document. SCP-5776 is to be kept in a soundproof room in Sector 4 of Site-19, and should be placed in a glass container visible from the viewing window. If any member of staff wishes to read the documentation supplied outside SCP-5776's chamber, the containment room's window must be blacked out so the object cannot view the document in question. Description: SCP-5776 is an info-hazardous entity that is able to alter descriptions of itself. This property has been shown to manifest only in textual, video, photo, or audio recollections. 
SCP-5776 typically chooses to display itself as an extremely hazardous entity with the ability to onset an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario, though in reality it poses no known threat to human life. SCP-5776's info-hazardous properties are only in effect when SCP-5776 is aware of the exact way it is presented in the medium. SCP-5776's effect is usually noticeable, with the altered depiction having some form of indication such as incorrect grammar, tone, or abrupt statements. These effects are believed to be unintentional. SCP-5776 is visually similar to a standard marshmallow, approximately 1.5 inches tall and 0.5 inches in diameter, and in neutral state displays a smiley face. Footnote 1 Analysis reveals this to be hand-drawn with a black marker. When SCP-5776 discovers it has been portrayed in a non-threatening manner, the object's face will immediately shift to depict an angered expression. Footnote 2 Typically including the appearance of eyebrows. It is capable of limited mobility, including small hops, swaying gently, and falling on its curved side to roll. It is currently unknown whether SCP-5776 is sentient. Recovery SCP-5776 was discovered on May 29, 2015 by Agent Addison during her break in a staff room in Site-19. The agent recalls consuming Haribo brand marshmallows during an off-duty lunch hour upon pulling SCP-5776 from her bag. Footnote 3 Heavy investigation has revealed that the Haribo brand was not part of SCP-5776's creation. The following is a description of camera footage taken during this event. Begin Log Agent Addison can be seen rummaging through the pack of Haribo brand marshmallows before pausing. What? Agent Addison pulls SCP-5776 out of the bag. Aww. SCP-5776 displays an angered expression and begins wriggling in Agent Addison's hand, causing Agent Addison to release her grip and drop SCP-5776. Wow, oh, what the heck was that? Agent Wilson sat nearby. What's wrong? SCP-5776 begins swiftly rolling away, escaping the staff room. End log. Following this log, SCP-5776 rolled halfway down the corridor before being stopped by Site Director Moose. SCP-5776 was soon given anomalous classification and assigned containment procedures. Addendum 5776.1 Testing To date, there have been three tests to determine the boundaries of SCP-5776's effect. The following is a description of each test performed on the item. Date, June 11, 2015 Test, 5776-001 D4415 was positioned directly in front of SCP-5776, and was prompted to write a visual description of the object. D4415 was instructed not to read aloud or show SCP-5776 the contents of the description. After the first sentence, D4415 was prompted to show the item how it was depicted. Afterwards, the writing was erased and rewritten. Results: No anomalous activity was observed until SCP-5776 was exposed to the writing. Following exposure, the text was immediately changed to describe an extremely hostile shape-shifting entity. SCP-5776 displayed an angered expression for approximately five minutes following this. After it entered a neutral state, the text was erased and rewritten. In response to this, SCP-5776 displayed an irritated expression and the text was again changed. Footnote 4 This indicates that SCP-5776 has the ability to detect any changes to its own altered text. Date, July 2, 2015 Test, 5776-002 D4415 was instructed to write on a sheet of paper, Are you able to think, speak, or otherwise communicate? Note from researcher Gray, We weren't sure if this would trigger a reaction, so you little puffball was added for good measure. SCP-5776 was then exposed to the text. Results No anomalous activity was observed until D4415 revealed the question to SCP-5776. 
After exposure, the text was altered to display a shape-shifting entity capable of creating an XK end-of-the-world scenario. On the opposite side of the page, a small ink smudge had notably increased in darkness. Microscopic analysis revealed the word embarrassed was written approximately 250 times in this space. It is unknown if this is a programmed response or if SCP-5776 was displaying sentience on this occasion. Date October 6, 2017 Test 5776-003 D5014, a former tattoo artist, was instructed to draw an accurate representation of SCP-5776 on a provided sheet of paper, facing away from the object. A researcher was then instructed to describe the drawing out loud. Approximately halfway through the drawing, D5014 was prompted to show SCP-5776 the produced drawing and continue until completion. Results: No anomalous activity was observed until SCP-5776 was informed of the nature of the drawing by a researcher. SCP-5776 displayed an angered expression upon hearing this description of itself, though the physical drawing did not alter. Footnote 5 it is believed that unlike textual descriptions, the item must first be visually exposed to a photo or piece of artwork before it can be altered. When D5014 allowed SCP-5776 to view the drawing, the already produced artwork immediately altered to depict an unknown creature. D5014 continued and seemed incapable of rendering an accurate depiction of SCP-5776. This caused D5014 mild distress, and the test was concluded. Addendum 5776.2 Containment Update On May 22, 2020, SCP-5776 discovered the existence of its documents. This is believed to have been caused by junior researchers reading the documentation loudly outside SCP-5776's room. This resulted in researcher Gray having to rewrite much of the altered text. Note, we thank researcher Gray for spending many hours on this endeavor. Following this incident, the current containment procedures have been put into place, now requiring SCP-5776's containment room to be soundproof. Thank you guys so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to my level 4 patrons, Alexis Zagrate. Lesby Friends, and Scrubversive, and a huge extra special shout out to my level 5 patrons, Anton and Dr. Serene. If you would like to see your name at the end of my videos, see my videos early, and get some other cool perks, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.